We have in today's Gospel reading the naming, or the selection, we could say, of the Twelve Apostles. So our Lord had many disciples, many followers, but of those, he chose twelve in particular. And what's also noteworthy is before this choice, he spends the entire night in prayer. And if we look at the Scriptures, if we examine the Scripture, the events in our Lord's life, before any major event, including his crucifixion, he spends time in prayer. So if you recall in the Garden of Gethsemane, you know, before he's arrested, he's, he's praying and he comes to the disciples, you know, why can't you stay awake? Uh, keep, keep awake, keep watch and, and, and be prayerful. But so before every major event, he's praying. And part of the, the message that our Lord is giving us here is he's giving us an example. But the message is that if we need wisdom, if we need things from God, we need to spend time in prayer, and we need to spend quality time in prayer. Now, this is related to something else in today's Gospel reading, which we could easily overtouch. So, all these people, these crowds are coming to him from Judea, Jerusalem, the coast of Tyre and Sidon. There's a lot of people there. And they all want to be healed. They all want to listen to, to his words of wisdom. And some of them had unclean spirits, which were, were cast out. But notice how it mentions, and all in the crowd, all in the crowd were trying to touch him. For power came out from him and healed all of them. So in other words, it wasn't just individuals coming to him and saying, Lord, I have this ache, this pain in my shoulder, please heal me, and our Lord heals him. No. People were just touching him. You know, similar to the, uh, you know, the woman who had the, the hemorrhage, the blood flow for 12 years, and she says to herself, oh, if I just touch the fringe of his cloak, I will be healed. So she did that. She was healed. But here we have everybody in the crowd striving to get close to him, to touch him. Why? Because power was coming out of him. And a lot of those people, whatever ailments they had, they were just healed simply by touching him. And you see, the message here is that the closer we are to God, the more we are in contact with God, the more we will receive his healing, healing graces or his wisdom or, or his guidance or the strength that we need to, to face whatever difficulties we may be facing in our lives. And so, you know, the question is, well, how do we get close to God? And we could say, well, the greater source of God's graces is the Eucharist. And when we receive our Lord and Holy Communion, that's the closest we could ever be to God. But even though each one of us receives Holy Communion, some people will have a greater union than others. So the, the sacraments, especially the Eucharist, it's the primary channels of God's grace to us. But prayer, our personal prayer, is what disposes us to be able to receive more through the sacraments. Now, we all pray. You know, let's say we all pray the rosary, but once again, same as with the Eucharist, some people have a greater communion with our Lord, a greater union with him. But also with prayers, some people have a greater connection with God when they pray. So if we want to draw close to God, yes, we need to receive the sacraments worthily, but we also need to pray well and to connect with God through our life of prayer. Now, you might say, well, how can I pray the rosary better? Or how can I just pray better in general? And there's many, many things that can be said about that. But you see, the reality is, is that when we look at the lives of the saints, why is it that they were so close to God? Why is it that when they, you know, uh, prayed God to heal someone, that miracles would take place? And the reason is because they were at a higher spiritual level. So they rooted sin out of their lives, not just mortal sin, but even venial sin. And they made the effort to grow in charity. And because they grew in charity towards their fellow human beings, but also towards God, they were at a higher level. And so their prayers were much more effective. Their worthy reception of Holy Communion was much more efficacious uh, than, than would be the ordinary persons. So you know, how do, we, how do we have access to God? How do we get close to God? In other words, these people were coming to our Lord 
and they just wanted to touch him because power came out of him. So if we draw close to God, if we have greater access to God, power will come out of him. We may not necessarily be healed if it's not God's will, but we will receive all kinds of inspirational uh, graces, uh, blessings, or strength, or whatever we need to live our daily lives. And so the key is that we strive to attain to a higher degree of holiness so that our prayer life is much more um, efficacious, which will also mean that our worthy reception of Holy Communion will also be much more efficacious and beneficial for us. So, rooting sin out of our lives and growing in charity. And we can make many acts of love of God, but we also need to manifest love towards our neighbor. And sometimes that can be a challenge. But let us take advantage of the many opportunities that we have every single day to practice charity.